Hello, water signs. It's your turn. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. You guys are dating someone new. So you want to see who this person is, how do they feel about you, and will it be a hit, a hit or miss? This will not resonate with everyone. It just won't. If not, check out your sun, moon, rising. Well, your sun. Your moon, your rising, your Venus, which reminds me, Venus retrograde is about to hit Scorpio. Good luck with that. All right, I'm just saying. All right, so you guys, hit the description box below if you guys need a personal reading. All my information's there. I still am offering that October special. How do they feel? Normally 75, and this month it's for 40, all right? So like, share, and subscribe, you guys. I'm also on Instant Go if you guys want to find me over there. Water and Fire Tarot. All right, Water Signs, dating someone new. We're going to start with Scorpio, all right? Scorpio, you're dating someone new. Let's take a look and see who this person is. How do they feel about you, Scorpio? And will it be a, a big fat hit or a big fat miss, Scorpio? Scorpio, who is this person that you are newly dating? And how do they feel? How do they feel about you, Scorpio? And will it be a hit or miss? All right, let's take a look, Scorpio. We're gonna cut it and then have a little chat. Here we go. All right. All right, Scorpio, this person could be a Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. They're having some stability in their life. Woo! Money, money, money. If not, just stability. Also, too, they may want a long-term commitment. They may be looking to commit. That Ten of Pentacles is a lot of stability. It's also a social card as well, like going out, having drinks, having dinner. But this person, either they just ran into a lump sum of money or money's good or they got a raise or some shit like that. Scorpio, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Again, they're just bringing stability. They're a very stable person right now in their career or with finances. Um, also, too, this person, again, may be looking to commit. How do they feel about you? Five of Pentacles in reverse. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus energy again. Sun, Moon, Rising. You may know this person, Scorpio, and they may want to let you in from the cold. I'm just saying. If not, if this, I mean, because it's supposed to be somebody new here. Maybe you guys haven't talked to this person in a while and they want to come back in from the cold. If not, then you warm them up, Scorpio. Maybe they've been left out in the cold. Maybe they got out of another relationship. And they just want those fuzzy, warm feelings, Scorpio. And they want you to give it to them. All right. Is it hit or miss? Wheel of Fortune in reverse. The timing may not be right, okay? Just, you may have to just hold out, okay? The universe is saying that a lack of change is here right now, but... You know, the wheel for me is good either way. But when it's in the reverse, it's just the universe saying this timing may be a little bit off, Scorpio. So we're going to take a look and see why. A lot of Earth energy, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus here, all right? Let's take a look for Scorpio. That could be in their um, moon rising birth chart somewhere, okay? Or they just could be embodying that Earth energy, especially with that Ten of Pentacles. All right, let's see. Scorpio, who is this new person that you're dating? How do they feel about Scorpio? And is it a hit or a miss? All right, let's take a look for Scorpio. All right, let's cut it and do it. Let's take a look, Scorpio, at this person. All right, so this person is the Ten of Pentacles. They, again, they just might be really focused on their job. They have a lot of stability. They may want to commit. What is this Ten of Pentacles here for the person who Scorpio is newly dating? Oh, shit. All right, and how do they feel about Scorpio here? We have the Five of Pentacles in reverse. Why is the Five of Pentacles in reverse about how this person feels about good old Scorpio? Why is this Five of Pentacles here, please? All right, exactly what I was saying. And why is this Wheel of Fortune here in reverse for a hit or a miss? Why is this Wheel of Fortune here for a hit or a miss for Scorpio? All right, Scorpio. So a lot of Taurus energy here. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. This person was a big fat commitment with you, Scorpio. Okay, they do. With the Ten of Pentacles and the Hierophant, somebody wants to, well, ring the wedding bells, perhaps. They're looking to commit. All right. You could have had a missed opportunity with this person at one time. I think it's somebody from your past. I'm trying to do new shit. I really am. Or because, you know, the Five of Pentacles in reverse is coming in from the cold. You know, normally the four of cups and reverse is some type of missed opportunity, but that just doesn't make sense on this five of pentacles. It was a missed opportunity at some point, I think. 
Is it a hit or a miss? For now, it's a miss with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. The timing's not right because of the Ace of Swords in reverse. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. There's a lack of clarity. Yes, this person could be lying to you as well, or there's just no communication right now. So you may have to just hang tight, Scorpio, for this person. But whomever is coming towards you wants a big fat commitment. All right, why is this Ace of Swords here for? Whether this is a hit or a miss for Scorpio, what's this Ace of Swords? Yeah, Ace of Wands, Fire Energy, Leo Sag Aries. Somebody wants a passionate new beginning, Scorpio, but they're still not getting the clarity. Somebody doesn't have clarity quite in the situation, or you're not communicating with this person right now because the timing's not right. You guys are going to have to wait, but you have good things coming, Scorpio. Oh, hi, I'm Scorpio. Okay, moving on to Cancer. Cancer, let's take a big fat look at who this new person is that you are dating. Show me Cancer. What is coming in for Cancer in love? Who is this new person that beautiful, sweet Cancer is dating? Show me Cancer. Who is the new person that Cancer is dating? How do they feel about Cancer? And will it be a hit or a miss for Cancer? Show me Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Ooh, I just cried. <laughs> Sound like a 12-year-old boy going through puberty there. Show me Cancer. Who is this new person for Cancer in love? What does this person want from Cancer? Who are they? How do they feel about Cancer? And will it be a hit or a miss? Let's do one more shuffle because, well, I just feel like it. Cancer. Show me Cancer. Who is Cancer dating? And what do they want from good old Cancer? All right, let's cut it and just go ahead and do it. All right, who is this person, Cancer? How do they feel about you? And is it a hit or a miss? All right, Cancer, this person right now, they might be a Pisces. They're kind of stuck. They're waiting. They're waiting to make some type of move right now, Cancer. They're kind of feeling in limbo. They might be just trying to gain some type of perspective on something before they make a move. They're just in limbo <clears throat> when, when it comes to you coming towards you or just in their life in general. How do they feel about you, Cancer? Queen of Pentacles, they feel like you're stable, grounded. You have your money together. Might be good wife or mother material there with the Queen of Pentacles. Might be very, very career oriented, very focused on your stability and your family. <clears throat> I'm getting all choked up. Is it a hit or a miss? Four Cups. There may be a missed opportunity here for some reason. I'm getting a lot more Pisces energy. Scorpio Cancer Pisces. Because I, I, the feeling that I'm getting with this cancer is if this person doesn't make a move, somebody's going to miss out here, right? If they don't make their move. But they think highly of you, cancer, queen of pentacles. But they're just kind of stuck in their head. They're waiting around for something. But if they wait too long, cancer, it's going to be the four of cups in reverse. Some type of missed opportunity. All right, show me who this person is for cancer. Who is the new person that cancer is dating? How do they feel about cancer? And is it a big fat hit or a... Big fat miss. Cancer. That is your energy there, of course, the Cups card. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. I'm getting a lot of Pisces energy here. Cancer. Doesn't have to be. But let's see who this person is, Cancer. All right, let's go ahead and clarify this bad bitch. I said it. I did. All right, so this person is the hanged man, could be a Pisces. They're just kind of waiting around. They're waiting around to make some type of move. But if they wait too long, well... The Sesame Street channel may just take over. I don't fucking know. All right, the hanged man. Why is this person the hanged man? <clears throat> Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Why is this Queen of Pentacles here for how this person feels about cancer? And hit or miss. We have the Four of Cups in reverse. Yeah, this makes sense for you guys. Why is this Four of Cups in reverse here, please? Why is the Four of Cups in reverse for cancer? This will resonate with somebody because it's all tying together. All right, so this person <clears throat> could be a Pisces, or they're just waiting around for something, because seven of swords in reverse, this person may have been up to some sneaky shit. And even if, you, obviously, if you, it could be somebody from your past, but even if you just started dating somebody, you may have felt like they were being kind of shady, or they were being a little bit shady or closed off about something, and they're either feeling guilt about it, or you found out about it. And so now they're just kind of in limbo. They're waiting around to make a move, right? How they feel about you, though, a lot of Earth energy, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, they feel like you're kind of, you know, stable, grounded, probably really focused on your career. With this um, Knight of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles, some of you may be older than this person too. I have a lot of Earth energy. 
but they do feel like you're grounded, stable, good with your money, wife material, mother material, very loving and nurturing. But with the Knight of Pentacles here, again, it could be a Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. They're moving in slowly. They're taking their sweet ass time, which we see because with the hanged man, they're just kind of waiting. They're waiting around for something. They're kind of, they're feeling some type of guilt or something, or they think that maybe you know something. So they're moving very slowly. Of course, the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving knight because he's all about, he or she is all about building for the future. They're going to be very careful and slow with that pentacle, right? But they think highly of you. Um, is it a hit or a miss? It could be a missed opportunity if somebody doesn't put work in because the Eight of Pentacles again here on top of that Four of Cups in reverse. Somebody's going to have to make a move. They're moving very slowly towards possibly a commitment or something that they want with you, Cancer. But if they if they don't start putting in the work soon or the effort, you guys might just be like, I'm getting the fuck out because it's the Four of Cups in reverse and that is your energy. But this person's thinking about it. <clears throat> They're waiting around for something, but they think highly of you. And I think that they know that you would be a good relationship to have, but somebody's going to miss something there. A lot of earth energy and Pisces. All right. Last but not least, speaking of Pisces, here we go. Pisces, who is this person that you are newly dating? How do they feel about you, Pisces? Will it be a big fat hit or a big fat miss? Is it a sham or a slam, Pisces? We're going to take a look. Who is this person that Pisces is newly dating? How do they feel about Pisces? And will it be a hit or a miss? Show me Pisces love, newly dating. Pisces is newly dating. We want to see who this person is and how they feel about Pisces. Will it be a hit or will it be a miss for Pisces? Beautiful, sweet Pisces, what is coming in for you guys? <clears throat> Let's cut it and do it. Here we go. Who is this person, Pisces? How do they feel about you? Hit or miss. Ooh, okay. So this person could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I normally think about the two of swords as a Libra. <clears throat> They're in their head. They're indecisive right now. They're not able to kind of take off the blindfold, get out of their head, and make a move, right? They could be blocking you out too, but I don't really think so. I think this person's more just indecisive at this point. How do they feel about you? They're guarded. They're a little bit guarded. They may have gone through some shit. <clears throat> the nine of wands is usually that battered person that's just well, been through hell and back, Pisces, in love, right? They're tired, they're exhausted, a little bit leery, cautious of others' motives, especially in love. They persevere, though. They keep going. Is it a hit or a miss? Well, it looks like it's a big, fat hit with the Empress. Um, could be a Libran or a Taurus, perhaps, but the Empress is all about self-love. It's growth. It's giving birth to something new in love. It's expansion. It's beautiful energy in a love reading, but let's clarify and see what's going on. This person's very guarded. I think, for some reason. All right, let's take a look. Pisces. Who, <clears throat> who is this person for Pisces? Who is this person? How do they feel about Pisces? And is it a hit or a mess, Pisces, with this new person? Who is this person? How will you guys be moving forward? Who is this person for Pisces? Hit or miss? Hit or miss for Pisces. How does this person feel about Pisces? So we've got a lot of Libra in energy here, Pisces. All right, let's take a look. So this person right now is the Two of Swords. Again, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. They're conflicted. They're in their head. Can't make a decision. Feeling trapped in their thoughts. Why is the Two of Swords here for this person that Pisces is newly dating? Yep. And why is the Nine of Wands here for how they feel about Pisces? Why is this Nine of Wands here? And will it be a hit or a miss for Pisces? Will it be a hit or a miss for Pisces? Clarify this Empress energy, please. Why is the Empress here for Pisces? Ooh, nice. Okay, you guys. Beautiful. All right. So right now, this person is conflicted. They're really in their head about some type of decision that they want to make. They're not, they don't have clarity right now with the Ace of Swords in reverse. They're lacking clarity about how to move this forward or how they want to move it forward. A lot of Libra and energy, Gemini, Aquarius. How they feel about you is they're guarded. They're being very protective. Their walls are up a little bit here. Leo, Sag, Aries energy. But, and so with the four cups in reverse, they feel like if they're too guarded or you're too guarded, there's going to be a missed opportunity here because somebody's just tired. It's that, the nine of wands is that energy of how much more can I take? I've been to hell and back. And so because of that, a little, there's the walls are up. 
a little bit defensive. They persevere though, they keep going. But somebody in this equation is like, if you don't shit or get off the pot, there's gonna be a missed opportunity. So let your walls down. But it looks like it's a hit with the Empress. Love, expansion, growth, giving birth to new ideas and love. It's very nurturing, very loving energy. This is a wife, this is a mother. It's all about expansion, clarified by, well, the goddamn King of Cups. More Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. There's a lot of love coming in for you guys, Pisces. That is your energy. But the King of Cups is in love. This is beautiful energy here for an outcome and a love reading. I don't care if you just met this person or not. It's beautiful energy. Hell, you could marry this person. With the Empress and the King of Cups, I'm just saying beautiful. So let your walls down or be patient and let them kind of get over you know, this nine of wands energy. They're a little bit cautious right now and they're really in their head. But moving forward, if you're patient or they're patient with you, it looks nice. All right, water signs. There you go. You guys love you hard. Love me hard back. I'm going to see you guys very soon for the mid monthlies. Take care. Love y'all.